Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. Hello, Vidmaker here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Tell me why. Allison, wake up. Oh, it's a dream sequence. That's probably Maui Ann. forward and find a new place for herself in this world where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood Marianne was clearly feeling very sad toward the end of her life off to now. This is the final part, not the final episode of the last, but just the final part. I'm probably going to get a demon 
franchise for this. Um, so I'm guessing here that um, Tyler decided to leave for a while, I suppose. Uh, I might as well uh, read this. Morning! I started collecting documents you need for your rental application. Left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're coming to meet Dee for lunch, you can drop off the documents. I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today. Thank you, Eddie. P.S. My famous buck up buck. We waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. He's right. Time to get my shit together. That's just for looking at that. Fair enough. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Okay. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. What the? Probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. Okay, I guess that memory is gone. Um, he doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Dear Chief Bao, uh, thank you so much for bringing our children home safe last weekend. Without you, they might have gone behind the wheel, and who knows what could have happened to them while you're not. Always be grateful for your wisdom. Thanks again for keeping the 
this off the books. They're good kids who made a mistake, and God knows how a police record can compromise a child's future. We know they will remember your words for a long time, but please rest assured that we will do whatever we can to make sure they understand the extent of what could have occurred, so they can raise awareness amongst their peers in the community. God bless you, Gail and Toby, the Lock, Lear, Cowan and Brody Moore. So many months of snow boots ahead. So keep in mind, the rest of the game is... I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my is head. when, um... Alaska isn't in the winter. <laughs> um, I don't know how accurate this is, but this, this is... Wow, it's cold there. Um... <clears throat> I can't really eat anything right now. Shame. Oh well. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Maybe if I make something for Dee, it'll help calm me down. Yeah, I'm not reading this recipe. Sorry. It's just not that interesting. Um, but I'm sure I will... I will do so at some point. I will make this thing just not. Gonna read the recipe right now. Okay. Eddie says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never mm. looked back. Then you'd still be taking yourself with you. What if that's the problem? I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Ah, here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. I haven't had.
had any time to sketch lately. Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this? I don't feel like listening to him. And besides right which, now. it was definitely getting me demonetized. Not that I'm going to make any money from this anyway, you know. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything here that could be the pay stubs. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. I can read this, apparently. Oh, I think it's... I think it's the Space Needle. Alright. Well, if it's not in here, I suppose I'm going to look for it. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Guess that's parental rights for uh, her mom. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. Uh, I don't think there's much point in reading this, but you might want to look, so. There we go. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. No, I'm fine. I'm leaving. I can. Huh. That's true, we are looking around Eddie's house. Um, I assumed we were looking around Allison's. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Hmm. Yeah. And this is a particular reason to look at this again. I'm not going to look at this again. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Help you figure out where the pay stubs are. I, I don't get what you're trying to figure out here. This is personal. And it says this. I'm not going to read all the stuff, and that includes... Marianne, what's going on with you lately? If you need help... It's nothing. This is nothing. I haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. This 
stop sulking. Okay, focus. I'm still missing some things. So, oh, see, see yeah, I, I, uh, I'm an idiot for not figuring this out before. Of course, she lived with Eddie after Maui Ann's death. I am, I am a moron. The paperwork's okay. not down there. to stop messing with those memories but he wouldn't listen <laughs> brother sister we look out for each other that's what you said but you don't mean what you say do you they're just words you left me allison all alone and scared <laughs> wrong with me well um I mean do you really want not here not here I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. I know some episodes have been going on for... Where's that coming from? A long time. Um, and this has been going on for 25 minutes, but I don't feel like very much has actually been happened in this episode. I, I kind of feel like continuing for a while longer. Who'd even be calling me? Maybe Tyler? Maybe something happened at the house. Uh, no, no phone here. The moment it's just looking at stuff simulator. think there's any reason my phone would have ended okay. up here. Okay, Wait, I thought I there's a my chance phone. that it might be mm. on the porch or something.
no, no, no. I cannot deal with you. Right and now. that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you next time.